There are different sorts of kidney diseases that keep growing day by day, especially without people knowing how they ended up with the disease. But, unknowingly, it is actually the foods you eat. It may seem like normal food, but the more you take, the more it gets worse. One of these types of diseases that is caused by the food we eat is proteinuria. This is a condition where excess protein is in the urine, which can be a sign of kidney damage or dysfunction. At first, you will not notice the symptoms, but the more you keep eating, the more your problem grows. Apart from this disease, several others are caused by the food we eat, which deeply affects our kidneys. In this video, I will be addressing that. You will get to know the foods you are to avoid so that you can prevent any kidney problems from starting in your body. Or if it is already there, the problem won't increase more than before. Also, we got a video for you at the end. The foods you should eat if for kidney patients. Just watch the video till the end, it will be very interesting. When you consume this food too much, or in certain contexts, your kidneys will be affected. 1. High protein foods. This could be red meat, poultry, and dairy and a lot more. Did you know it's harder for your kidney to excrete protein compared to minerals and vitamins? If you take too much protein every time, this makes your kidneys work harder to filter and excrete the byproducts of protein metabolism, this causing your kidneys to strain. Here's how it works. During the metabolism process, there is also a problem. Acids are also produced necessitating the kidneys' involvement in maintaining a proper pH balance, which puts strain on the kidneys. Also this making the proteinuria worsen. If you don't have a problem yet you can still take proteins, but just make sure not to take too much, three times a week is okay. But if you have a kidney problem already, you need to visit your doctor if you can still eat or not. 2. Processed foods. Apart from kidney-related problems, processed foods is always warned about. Because they have so many disadvantages. Processed foods are any food that's changed from its natural state. They contain added preservatives, nutrients, flavors, chemical flavoring, salts, sugars, or fats. In related to kidney issues, foods like packaged snacks and sugary beverages has a very high level of sodium, unhealthy fats, and additives. Little by little you're destroying your kidney. It's even better you don't even eat it at all. 3. Sodium-rich foods. Sodium is essential for cellular homeostasis and physiological function. But when too much it is one very huge cause of kidney problems. And there are certain foods that has high amount of it inside. Some of this type of foods are processed meats, canned soups, and salty snacks. Not only this, but there are also several others. Too much of taking this sodium foods can increase blood pressure, which can cause arteries around the kidneys to narrow, weaken, or harden. These damaged arteries will not able to deliver enough blood to the kidney tissue. So try to watch out for this. 4. Sugary Foods and Beverages when you eat this, your kidneys are affected by increasing the risk of conditions like obesity and diabetes. If you take too much sugar, maybe all your usual snacks literally every time surely, your size will increase and also insulin resistance, both of which strains the kidneys. If you now have diabetes, high blood sugar levels can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing its ability to filter the waste from your blood properly. Also sugary drinks can also cause dehydration, which puts added stress on the kidneys. All this just from sugary foods and beverages. Kidney diseases now become more and then would lead to its failure. So, let's try reducing the quantity we take for a better functioning health. 5. Alcohol. Alcohol affects the kidneys by disrupting its normal functioning. Same way you drink water, when you take alcohol, your kidneys work to filter it out of your bloodstream. With too much the damage starts. Alcohol is a diuretic, meaning it increases your urine production and lead to dehydration, further putting strain on your kidneys. Chronic alcohol abuse can also cause inflammation and scarring your kidney tissue, stopping its ability to filter waste from your blood. So, let's watch the way we do take alcohol. 6. Caffeine. Caffeine is a natural stimulant found in various plants, like coffee beans, tea leaves, and cacao pods. Everyone around the world takes it, it's in beverages like coffee, tea, and energy drinks, as well as in certain foods and medications. It is not actually a bad substance to take. The only problem comes when you take it too too much. Caffeine affects the kidneys by increasing the urine production and also leading to dehydration. It is a stimulant, meaning it stimulates the central nervous system. This makes the kidneys to produce more urine, which can result in a loss of fluids from the body. But very important, if you got kidney conditions or predispositions, please you should not take it all excessive caffeine exacerbates the symptoms and causes the formation of kidney stones, a condition where you will find it very hard to urinate. 7. Phosphorus-rich foods. In the kidneys, phosphorus helps to regulate the fluid balance, maintain a proper pH levels in the blood, and support the function of enzymes involved in energy metabolism. All this, 
positive advantages. But when you take foods with high phosphorus, this could be dairy products, nuts, seeds, and certain meats, the kidneys always struggles to regulate its phosphorus levels in the blood. In people with healthy kidneys, excess phosphorus is usually excreted in urine. But, for those with kidney disease, the kidneys would not be effective in removing the phosphorus from the blood, causing high phosphorus levels, a condition known as hyperphosphatemia. High phosphorus levels can cause mineral and bone disorders and accelerate the progression of kidney disease. So you could start by doing a checkup every month or year to make sure you don't have any kidney problem before it gets worse. 8. Oxalate-rich foods. These are varieties of plant-based options known for its health benefits and also for their potential to contribute to kidney stone formation, sadly. These foods include spinach, Swiss chard, rhubarb, nuts like almonds and peanuts, seeds such as sesame and pumpkin seeds, and even healthy choices like berries and whole grains like quinoa contain significant levels of oxalates. Oxalate-rich foods can affect the kidneys by adding to the formation of kidney stones. When you eat it, the oxalates binds with calcium in the urine to form crystals. In some people, these crystals can accumulate and grow into kidney stones over time. But not everyone who eats these foods actually develops kidney stones. Those with a history of certain medical conditions are the ones with high risk. Again, it's good to confirm with your doctor. If you noticed in all the foods mentioned sodium, potassium, and phosphorus were mentioned. These are the main causes of the kidney problem. So make sure to watch out for those in any food you are about taking. Moderation is key. And if you have any problem, visit your doctor. Thank you for watching. Hope you benefited from the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content like this. Find out the best foods you can take in place of this. Click and find out.